What is going on? You know who it is. The one, the only, never duplicated. Solano of Proof. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. To my fellow subscribers, thank you for sticking with me to the end. I got you guys a part two. And this one's a very interesting one. And this is where the females take over and give us our explanation and what they like in a man. And some tips of do's and don'ts of what they think is right for a date so without further ado but first and foremost thank you to my new subscribers welcome to the s to the old fam it really means a lot for you to subscribing and every let's keep on growing let's keep this channel growing and that's it pretty much be right back and let's get what they take <laughs> So you asked me what is uh, the fragrance I would like a man to wear on a date and I chose Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford uh, only because uh, I think for a date you need something that is quite like masculine but also quite sweet and seductive and Tobacco Vanille for me is the best like mix of it because you've got the vanilla and the tonka bean that is quite oriental mixed with some spice and you've got some woods behind so it's quite like masculine and strong as well so it's part of the private blend as well from Tom Ford and they're all like very mysterious and very charming in my sense so yeah I'd say like Tobacco Venice smells like a, like a jazz club you know a late night in a jazz club with a cigar or something like that so I think I think I would love a man to wear that on a date and uh, then you asked me one tip to um, uh, for men to not do on a date and I would say uh, do not uh, only talk about yourself because usually that happens I had um, things like that happening the guy is just talking about himself which is you know you need to find a balance listen to the girl and and try to we, we know what you've been doing in your life and what you've been doing good or stuff like that so you don't need to say everything then I would say the thing to do on a date is to be a gentleman this is so rare when men are actually like acting like a proper gentleman hold the door take the chair when she sits down if it's very cool just uh, give her a coat or something like that or pay the bill if it's the first date I mean it depends like you can separate um, after when you get to know her but you need to pay the bill for the first one anyway thank you so much for having me bye bye hey everyone Valley Von the perfume Don and I would like to thank you so much for including me into your video I will go ahead and get right into it because I know that's what you're here for so the scent that I would love for a guy to wear on a first date would be the Aqua de Parma Colonial Club or something similar maybe like a Creed green Irish tweed something that's really almost like a barbershop scent something that's really fresh something that smells like you just jumped out of the shower and just trick me into thinking even if you don't that you have an amazing hygiene because that's something I look for in a date so I have two tips uh, a do and a do not on a date do not go in there and put on a front because it is going to come back to bite you in the butt if you go in there and pretend like you like dogs just because she has a dog then you're going to be expected to like dogs and when it comes that you come out that you hate dogs it's going to be over anyway so do not go in there fronting do go in there and try to extend yourself outside of your comfort zone you may have so many different rules and regulations about what you will do or you never play golf or you never try korean food Try to get rid of those and try something new. Um, you might be pleasantly surprised. So those are my tips. I hope that you guys have an amazing time, get laid, and just have a great time and hopefully meet the love of your life. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Valley Bond the Perfume. Hi, Solana. Thank you so much for giving me this chance to collaborate with you. The fragrances that I would like a man to wear on a date are Number one, Aqua Universalis by Maison Francis Gurdjian. I love it because it's so fresh and the lily of valley comes out so nicely and I think it's very appealing when a man smells really fresh and clean. The second fragrance is 
1 million cologne by Paco Rabanne. I think this is a very simple yet fun, very nice cardamom scent and it's fresh as well. I love it. It's kind of sexy as well. And the third one is by Tom Ford. This is a card uh, where I sprayed uh, Noir Extreme, which I really think is very sexy on a man. Uh, it's perfect for the winter season. I think uh, the vanilla and kulfi smells really good and very appealing and very manly. And I love this scent. The one thing a guy should do on a date is be himself, be authentic. And one thing that a guy should not do on a date is um, don't ask the girl to pay for uh, the dinner or coffee or lunch. A girl likes to be taken care of. So make sure that you treat her well and everything will work out. So I hope you like my suggestions. Uh, take care. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Maite. Winston, aka Solano, has asked me to give my recommendation on what fragrance I love on my man when we go on dates. Uh, and the fragrance I picked was Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. It is a beautiful, well-rounded, smooth, clean vetiver. It's got citrus notes, it's got nutmeg, it's got amber woods. It's just it smells like somebody who's got their stuff together. Um, like they are calm, cool, collected. So. If you want to make a good impression, I would reach for Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. Um, also, on your date, you should be a gentleman. Um, you should ask about core values if that's you know somebody you're trying to get serious with. You should not come on too strong. Be arrogant. Uh, that's not good. You should let things flow naturally. Um, be respectful. So. I wish you guys all the best. If you want to pop over to my channel when you're done watching uh, Winston's video, I have one, two, three, four, five more fragrances uh, that I love on my man. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. I am back. Thank you, ladies, for your thoughts. Thank you for collaborating in this video. It really does mean a lot. Like I slow a lot, not like I said. But as you can see, guys, some girls still believe in chivalry. Some girls still believe that you could be a, that they need to be gentlemen. Um, there's a lot of different takes. I believe too. I thought so too. I was having a conversation with one of my coworkers that I thought chivalry was dead, but I guess some girls still believe in chivalry. Some girls still believe in gentlemen. Like I said, some girls still believe that the guy should pay the first date. I don't know on that one. Um, if it's the first date, yeah, sure, why not? I'll pay. I'll pay. It doesn't really matter. But that, um, everybody has their own opinion. Let me know what your opinion is on that one. Should a guy pay for the first date? Leave you, I'll read you down in the comments. And as always, girls, thank you so much for that. Um, For your great picks. Overall, guys, what I took from this video, Chevy still alive. Ugh, fragrances is everybody has their own take. Some guys like the sweet ones. Some people like the... The floral ones, some people like the nice shower scents. It's basically what you want to wear. In layman's in other words. I do think it doesn't matter what you wear in a day scent. I think it's how you rock it. How you rock it matters a lot. Because you could wear the worst fragrance ever, but if you rock it with confidence and it says this is me, you are gonna be a hundred percent making that fragrance remember the fragrance doesn't make you you make the fragrance yeah it does give you points to stand out but if you rock a fragrance without confidence you're not gonna go there you're not gonna go for it you're just gonna be like eh, you have to rock it with confidence make sure you like it make try it out try out all these fragrances that were listed in the part one and part two the guys did a great take the girls did a great take is all how it's taken on you and how you proceeded and how you handle the date. Let me know what are your do's and don'ts on a date. Let me know what fragrance would you wear to a, to a date. Let me know a lot of tips that some people are probably missing that weren't said here. Let me know. And girl, please follow all these girls. They all did a wonderful job and kept it all under my time span. Thank you all for them. And I'm not single nobody out, but... I do want to suggest that you go follow my friend Maite 
because she's a new so YouTuber. They're all new and they're all starting. But Maite is the newest one here and she's still starting and she's still growing. And she's still growing. Help her get some more followers. Go check out the video that she has that she made especially for this one. A part three, a technically a part three, but in her, in her own world, in her own thing, I have nothing to do with this. It's just her by herself. So go check it out if you're interested. I'll leave all of their links below. And as always, wear what you want, buy what you want. And I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace out, I'm out of here. Oh, and one more thing. Please subscribe. It's free. It will only take a second if you like videos like this. I will try to do videos like this every now and then. Give me suggestions and what other videos you would like to see. This was a fun video. I loved working with the guys and the girls. Mm. Let me know what you guys think. As always, peace. I'm out of here.